Hello everybody, it's Zachariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my morning to a very fallen police officer, firefighter, and U.S. Border Patrol member who's your life in a line of duty in 2021. And Sally tonight are running for another fallen uh, fire police captain who have lost his life in a line of duty. Tonight I'm running for fallen fire police captain Leron Holcomb. He served with the Ellsworth Volunteer Fire Department in Pennsylvania and his uh, last alarm was September 4th, 2021. And lost his life after he suffered an apparent heart attack shortly after returning home from a vehicle crash call. He was 73 years old at the time of his passing. His legacy and service is not provided, but we do know he left behind a loving family. Tonight, I'll be running with the red line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track loop of my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. I'll be joined tonight by the Maitland Police Department, the Simla County Sheriff's Office, and the Orange County Sheriff's uh, Sorry. The Seminole County Sheriff's Office, Maitland Police Department, and an Orange County Sheriff's Office Sergeant who's a part of the Central Florida First Responders Bagpipes and Drums. We're also joined by my sister and another supporter running with us, and we're also joined by Grasco, one of our big supporters. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through hearts and men are going through, and then I'll be on my way. For those that are tuned in tonight, tonight Zach Ryan now running his second mile of the evening, this mile in honor of fallen fire police captain Leron Holcomb. He served with the Ellsworth Volunteer Fire Department in Pennsylvania. Tragically, his last alarm was September the 4th, 2021. Lost his life after suffering an apparent heart attack shortly after returning home following a call to a vehicle crash. 73 years old at the time of his passing. His length of service was not provided. However, we do know that he leaves behind a loving family. Zechariah, along with several agencies and several other supporters tonight, running seven laps, which is one mile, Zechariah, now completing that first mile in honor of fallen Fire Police Captain Leron Holcomb tonight. We're always very appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah. This evening, helping to pay tribute to fallen fire police captain Leron Holcomb, we have members of the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, which is our home county agency. We also have the Maitland Police Department, a neighboring agency. Also joining us, we have the Orange County Sheriff's Office and Piper for the first responders, bagpipes and drums band of Central Florida. Once again, we're all here today to pay tribute to a fallen hero, 73-year-old Fire Police Captain Leron Holcomb of the Ellsworth Volunteer Fire Department in Pennsylvania, who tragically lost his life September the 4th, 2021, after suffering an apparent heart attack shortly after returning home following a vehicle crash call. Once again, 73 years old, length of service not provided, but he leaves behind a loving family. Zachariah now completing his second lap to honor this hero tonight. For every mile that Zechariah completes, he carries a unique flag. Each flag is sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. This flag tonight, the red line flag, will get sent to the family of fallen fire police captain Leron Holcomb, along with a note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the afternoon. If you would like information on how you can be a part of this mission, please visit running the number four heroes.org. We'll also do a follow-up post a little bit later in the evening with details on how you can be part of this mission. Starting on this next lap, I'm gonna go silent. I'm gonna remain silent for the duration of the run as we reflect on life this hero, fallen fire police captain, Leron Holcomb.
We send our thoughts and prayers to the Holcomb family, as well as everybody with the Ellsworth Volunteer Fire Department in Pennsylvania, mourning the loss of the Sierra tonight. We hope the Sierra honored him well, and we thank him for his service.
Oh, yeah, Zachary, any final words to the family of Fallen Fire Police Captain LaRon Holcomb? To the whole family of Fallen Fire Police Captain LaRon Holcomb, everybody with the Ellsworth Volunteer Fire Department in Pennsylvania, as well as, 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 well as this whole entire family, hope you all heal very soon through the passing of your loved one. He was 73 years old at the time of his passing and was still serving proudly as a firefighter. He was one of those people that I bet you could be inspired by every single day he went to the station. And I hope that he can inspire other people. No matter what age you are, you can still do what you love to do, including firefighting, if that's your passion. I'll never forget him, and we hope this remains as much as possible to help out his family and everybody at the Ellsworth Volunteer Fire Department in Pennsylvania. To the whole family, I've fallen fire police captain, uh, Leron, uh, Leron Holcomb, I'll be sending you this red line flag. I ran with tonight in your hero's honor as well as a handwritten note I've already written and is already ready to be sent out in your hero's name. There is no preference on what we want you to do with the flag or the note, but whatever you do with it, we hope you find comfort every single time we look at it. Later, fallen hero, fallen fire police captain, LeRon Holcomb, will never be forgotten down here in Florida and throughout the whole entire nation. If all of you tonight would like to join me in a 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute each second day, kidding. One amazing thing, fire police captain Leron Holcomb did during his life, including as a firefighter, as well as an accomplishment or a life he saved. So, if all like join me in this 21 second moment of silence right now, please do. We appreciate if you joined us in that 21 second moment of silence. Now, for one more time tonight, if all of you would like to bow our heads, just I'm in a prayer for the Fallen Battalion Chief and the Fallen Fire Police Captain that we unfortunately had to run for on this evening. If all of you would like to join me in this prayer right now, please do. Dear God, tonight we've had to come out here to run for two fallen uh, firefighter uh, firefighters lost their life from similar reasons, apparent heart attacks uh, while on duty. Lost their life doing what they love to do, serving, and until their final breath, kept uh, having a mindset of saving lives in their community. God, watch over the rest of our firefighters out there, keep them all safe. Heart attacks and medical emergencies are a huge thing that we lose our firefighters from every single year, it seems like. So keep all of them safe, and let's hope that we can lose no more first responders in general over the next few weeks. God, watch over the family and apartment, and if they have not seen these runs, guide them to this run so they can find comfort through a hard time. Thank you, and God, just say we pray, amen. Thank you all for joining me in these two runs. We have at least one run due tomorrow for a fallen first responder. Let's hope that we don't have to do one run and we can come tomorrow on Friday just having to run for one fallen first responder instead of more. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.